XFX. And now for something completely different. Hello there, this is Xiao, and I'm dressed like a speed skater. Why? Because this is the suit up video for my first fursuit. This is also going to double as an instructional video for how to put on a fursuit. After that, I'm going to be answering some questions that I received over the past couple weeks. So let's get started. Now before you do any of this, go to the bathroom and ideally shower as well. You want to be clean going into your suit, but more importantly, you want to have gone to the bathroom because you're not going to be able to get out of this thing very easily. It's a lot of work, and you're going to be drinking a lot of water. It makes sense to just take care of everything beforehand. So once you've gone to the bathroom, then you put on your undersuit. A lot of old school fursuiters swear by cotton t-shirts and shorts, but most people nowadays wear spandex or lycra undersuits. Some common examples of that include Under Armour, a lycra dive skin, which is different from a wetsuit, mind you, a dance unitard, or in my case, a zentai. If you do go with the zentai, be sure to get one with an open face so that you can see, breathe, drink, and eat more easily in your fursuit. I also prefer a zentai because it's all one piece, rather than having to worry about your balaclava, your shirt, your pants, your gloves, your whatever. Though I will say that it is a bit more difficult to put on, because the zipper goes down your back and you basically have to go like this in order to get to it. It's pretty ridiculous. Anyway, once your undersuit is on, you're ready to put on your bodysuit. Now, Shelly here has a lot of padding, especially in the tail. As you can see, this tail is massive. So I generally like to put the padding hit in first so that it's easier to put on. It's also easier to put on if you put it on while sitting as opposed to like standing up or like sitting down on the floor or whatever. So you get your legs in, clear leg. Try not to dislodge the padding because it's only secured by Velcro. And you pull it up to your waist about. Okay, make sure everything's where it needs to be. Yeah, because things might have shifted in the process of standing up. Next, this tail weighs a lot. So my suit maker included a included belt loops in it so that I could easily attach a belt. This will provide support for the very heavy tail. Make sure it's looped correctly. Power stance. Quah. And then belt is secure. Just pull it up. There we go. Cool. So there's that. Well, first we tuck in the belt so it's not flapping all around. Then we put on the sleeves and put in the rest of the padding. And once you have everything secure, use it up. Now, quick tip. When you are zipping up, it's helpful to pinch around the zipper as you're pulling it out so that the fur doesn't get in the way as easily. I learned this the hard way until I talked to my first suit maker about it. Very helpful. Okay, I think that's everything. Give it a quick adjustment to make sure we're square. Okay, I think we're good. Cool. Next, we put on the feet. These are very easy to put on because they're basically just giant slippers. Then you, just, you tuck in your feet so that everything looks nice and seamless. Sometimes requires a little bit of work. See? Feet. After that, you put on your lanyard. Or if you have any sort of other neck gear like a bandana or whatever, you put that on now. Let me just get this out of the way so you can see stuff better. Right. Also, so you know, this suit is very hard to sit down in because of this massive tail. Anyway, so let's put on our lanyard because it's always good to have some sort of a badge to say, I'm this character, or in my case, I'm a dragon. Okay, make sure it's square. All right, cool. Good. Now the head. Make sure your hair is situated. Okay, looks good to me. Gotta make sure your hair looks good. Anyway, now this head is a resin mask, 
so it actually has a strap on the inside to secure it to my head. It also has space for my glasses, so I don't have to take these off, which is very nice. Okay, now let's just put this on. It sometimes takes a little bit of work to get things lined up. Also, I don't normally talk in my fursuit. So once the head is on, take some time to adjust the neck flaps and hair, position the mask properly on your face, and make sure the head straps are seated correctly. Make sure everything's all smooth, and you're good. Last, you need to put on your hand paws. I'm right-handed, so I prefer to put on my right paw first. I also have a hard time telling which paw is which while wearing my fursuit head. Maybe I should do something about that. Once the paw is on, take some time to tuck the hand paw into the arm sleeve. It makes it look a lot nicer. I'm already getting pretty hot in this suit. When your paw's tucked in, put on your second hand paw. This one is always really frustrating because you can't hold things very well with fursuit paws on. If you can, have a friend help you get your other paw on. When you're all suited up, do some last minute checks to make sure you look good. Checking everything in a mirror helps. When you know you look good, you're ready to go have some fun. And now to answer some questions. Who made your suit? My suit was created by Comic Crazy Studios. You may also know her as Temperance. I chose her because she has a ton of experience and makes some pretty amazing fursuits. She's been an absolute pleasure to work with. She provided quick, detailed answers to my questions, was very helpful in guiding me through the planning process, and made a really high quality suit considering how much I paid for it. Speaking of which, how much did it cost? Cost. Less than $2,000. I've put a link in the description to her website if you want to learn more about her prices. How long did you wait to get it? I sent in my down payment at the start of October last year. At that time, the target completion date was Halloween of 2015. But due to some shifts in her schedule, the suit was actually completed two and a half months early. However, as I was moving to a new apartment, I was unable to receive the suit for several weeks after that. But that's my fault, not hers. What convention? will you be attending? As of right now, I'm only planning on going to Midwest Fur Fest this December. That might change once I have a better understanding of my schedule in the coming months. Other cons I'm considering include Fur Squared, Great Lakes Fur Con, and especially Anthrocon. Why is your character a girl? Because I wanted a girl character? Think about it this way. A fursuit covers your whole body, which lets you be pretty much anything you want. Why place arbitrary restrictions on what that thing could be. But it's weird. We're talking about putting on a giant furry animal costume. It's already weird. Is it hot in your suit? Yes, very hot, especially when I wear the bodysuit. The Zentai helps, and it's less hot when I wear it as a partial, but it's still hot. But I am working on building up my endurance to be able to stay in suit longer before needing a break. It's also less hot when you're too busy being a goofball. How good is the vision? It's actually not that bad. I have more limited peripherals and a noticeable blind spot in the middle of my face, but I can still see fairly well through the eyes, though it is a bit blurry. I can also see what's at my feet by looking down through the mouth. How long does it take to put it on? I haven't timed myself yet, but I'd say it takes about 10 minutes to go from street clothes to full fursuit. What do you like most about your suit? How fluffy it is. Seriously, it's way fluffier than I expected, and I love it. It's like being a giant teddy bear. Though it has covered my apartment in orange fluff. Anyway, that about does it for this suit up video. If you liked what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any other questions about my fursuit or fursuiting in general, check the description for a link to my more or less comprehensive fursuit guide, or comment below. I'm always open for questions. And as usual, if you'd like to request a VoxFX tutorial, please send me a message. Remember, if it's talky, I can talk about it. I don't really know what other fursuit related 
videos to make, so if you want to see more stuff like this, please post your ideas in the comments. In the meantime, I'll be focusing on my tutorials and my music. Feel free to check those out. My next tutorial will be coming out in a week. Until then, have fun and keep making sound.